Hello and welcome to STW. I am here to show you a non-conventional way in modding your 6-pin RGB fans. But first, there are just few things that we need to know. Okay, on this image, this is the layout on how the pins are configured according to its wiring. You have the data out, 5 volts, data in, 2 ground pins, and the 12 volt pin. On this image, if you're using a Cool Moon or Up Here branded RGB fans, usually this is the orientation. Observe carefully how the pins are oriented for your reference. Take note, 5 volts, data in, and ground will be used to wire them to power on the RGB. The other ground and 12 volt will be used to wire them to power on the fan. For your reference, here's an image of how the pins are oriented using Kumun RGB controller or any similar brands. Now, let's talk about the connectors that are most commonly used for RGB enabled devices. On this image, this is the female connector commonly used for ARGB fans. Take note of the orientation of its pins. Here's the male connector. Ensure that your wiring is aligned based on the orientation to circumvent any issues that may damage the device. Next is the 3-pin RGB header used for adjustable LEDs. It's somehow similar with the 4-pin RGB header except that a 3-pin only uses 5 volts versus 12 volts for non-adjustable LEDs. And lastly, the GDV connector, its wiring is the same with the other two types I've mentioned earlier. The only difference is their connector type. So, you may use whichever suits your needs. Now finally, here's how to rewire the fans. Remember, we'll be using the ground and 12 volt wires so we can power on the fans. In this diagram, pins 1 and 2 are the ones we need to at least power on the fans. You may use old fan connectors from your old motherboard or you can buy them online. Just follow the wiring orientation as shown from the diagrams and you'll be all set. Alright, as you can see here, I have already separated the wires to for the fans and for the RGB. And they are actually connected on this connectors. So the two wires here for the fans and the three wires for the RGB. We, have, we will actually ignore the, uh, the fourth wire here which is the data out as we don't need it we will not be using it anyway right so let's um try it out and see if it if it's working so here i'm going to plug in the rgb fan as you can see it's spinning right so let's also plug in the wires 
तो लाइन इट आप राइट सो देर इट्स वर्किंग As you can see, it's uh, syncing together with um, the other fans that I have installed. Okay, to add the other wire for the data out, I've already hit ignored it so it's already taped in this um, section here for the RGB fan. Okay so let's go back to the two wire for the fans. So the only caveat here is um, the third wire is um, determined as the tachometer which measures the speed of the fans so unfortunately um, in a six pin rgb fans it doesn't have a separate wire for the tachometer and it's just two and you know we only need two wires for the fan for it just to work or to power on okay guys so that's it i hope you like it and just don't forget to click like and subscribe. So see you on the next video.